Thank you very much, Ker Hurlock. Um, you will be aware, as indeed will our leader, that for too long the mental health services have been a Cinderella uh, of the service in the terms of pr uh, proactiveness and investment. And while there was a welcome uh, increase in financing in finances in the budget for that sector, it's nowhere near what's required. So I'm effectively asking the leader to, that we have a specific and complete debate on our mental health services, on the fact that at the beginning of this year there were over 10,000 young people waiting for the CAM services and right through. And in the context of that debate, I want the leader to look at a novel idea that's been advanced recently by Councillor Kenneth Egan, and, it, and indeed supported by Deputy Neil Richmond from the other house. And it's the concept that the money taken by, from Garda seizures, uh, from the proceeds of crime and drugs specifically, that that money be ring-fenced for the mental health services. That's done right across Europe and many other countries. Up to now, this year, we've had 16 million of seizures from criminality in this country by the, uh, by the Garda National Drugs Unit and by CAB. If we, I want that money ring-fenced ring -fenced for, uh, for addiction services, for counselling, and for the various mental health services. If that money was ring-fenced, it would, it would uh, an, uh, have a number of good effects. You were dealing with the roots of the crime, with the money accrued through that crime, and, you, uh, you, and the source of the crime. And it is a very good suggestion, and I think we should be running with it. And I think at a minimum leader, it should be debated in this House in the context of a general debate. And I would welcome that. Thank you. Thank you.